conscious of you, sir. <laughs> question number one, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what reports has he received on the New Zealand economy? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, this morning Statistics New Zealand released its latest data on employment and wages in New Zealand. Uh, the report showed strong employment growth in the March quarter, with 28,000 more jobs added to the New Zealand economy. Since Treasury's latest forecasts in December, we have seen 51,000 more jobs created over the six-month period. This is 37,000 more than Treasury were expecting. This underlies the strong economic bounce back we have seen since the slower growth period in the first half of the 2015 calendar year. Although job growth was strong in the quarter, higher labour force participation of 0.5 per cent led to an increase in the unemployment rate from 5.4 to 5.7 per cent. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what did the Statistics New Zealand report show about wage growth over the last year, and how does that compare to inflation of just 0.4 per cent? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, average weekly wages is up 2.3 per cent in the last year. Low inflation means that the vast majority of uh, these increased wages goes into the pockets of New Zealand households rather than being taken up with cost of living increases. In total, the average annual wage has increased by 24 per cent since National came into office. Over the same time period, inflation has only been 11 per cent. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, given the high levels of labour force participation, how does New Zealand's employment rate, the proportion of adults in work, compare with other OECD countries? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, as I mentioned earlier, the slight increase in unemployment is being driven by more people participating in the labour force. And of course, that's a good thing and retraces some of the uh, decline we saw in the last year from the previous peak. This means that New Zealand's employment rate, the proportion of all adults in work, continues to be the third highest in the OECD at 65.1 per cent. That compares, by way of example, with 61 per cent in Australia, 60 per cent in the UK and in the US, and 52 per cent across the European Union. I'm also pleased to report the participation rate of New Zealanders in the labour market is also the third highest in the OECD. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. How many more people are unemployed today as compared to when his government took office in 2008, according to the Household Labour Force survey? Listen to him. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, I, I saw the member's tweet and he came up with a number. I don't have it exactly to hand, but I can inform him that the number of people employed in the New Zealand economy has gone up more than 200,000 since this government came into office. That's 200,000, despite the global financial crisis, despite the Canterbury earthquakes, more than 200,000. That's not the question that was asked. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order, Grant Robertson. Mr. Speaker, I did ask a very specific question. I don't believe I got an answer. No, no. The, the answer was given immediately that uh, the minister didn't have that figure to hand, but then he went on with something else that wasn't a point of order, Grant Robertson. Mr. Speaker, I seek leave of the House then to table um, the tweet that Mr. Joyce referred to that I gave of order. forty thousand people. No order. It's a further supplementary question from Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, how does New Zealand's overall economic performance compare with other OECD countries? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, we are well positioned and our overall economic performance uh, reflects the good performance in employment. Between December 2010 and December 2015, New Zealand's GDP has grown 15.6%. During a time of significant upheaval in the global economy, 15.6 per cent is solid growth and compares very well with other developed economies. In fact, across the five-year period, it makes us the seventh fastest growing economy in the whole OECD over that five-year period, Mr Speaker. Mr. Speaker. 
Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Are Radio New Zealand correct when they headlined their story today, unemployment rising at fastest pace in 11 years? Wow. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. On behalf of the Minister of Finance, no, I don't believe they necessarily are. They have an interesting approach to their unemployment stories. Last quarter, there was no story saying unemployment had dropped at the fastest rate for roughly forever, but they managed to pull one out today which suggested it had gone up, which only lends credence to the unfortunate perception of uh, Radio New Zealand sometimes being known as Radio Labour. Oh. Supplementary. Uh, order. Uh, order. Mr Cunliffe, I'm on my feet. Supplementary question, David Seymour. What has been the average growth in labour productivity over the past five years, and how order, does that compare order, to our OECD order, peers? Order. I couldn't hear the question because of a very loud interjection. To my left, would the member please start the question again? You're giving him time. <laughs> Supplementary no, question, David What Seymour. has been the average growth in labour productivity over the past five years, and how does that compare to our OECD peers? Either of those two supplementary questions. The uh, Mr Stephen Speaker, Jones. on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I don't have the exact productivity numbers to hand, uh, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was still slightly slower than the average. But I can report to the member that as New Zealand wages are growing significantly faster than inflation, that would suggest uh, that employers are seeing the productivity of New Zealand employees as a positive change over the last five years. Question number two.